let's go and have a look at the uh, the new plot and see what plans are afoot over there. So many good things are happening on the main plot. Like the new potatoes coming up. Field beans are doing their work, helping feed some of the brassicas I've interplanted. We've got some parsnips on the go there. Got some sugar snap peas and the garlic and a space ready for some broad beans, which are just finishing off at home. Let's go and have a look at what we're doing on the main, the new plot. Been doing some serious digging. Well, we've cleared a bit of ground. We've got a few projects in the going as to how to clear some of the grass and the weeds. Let's go and have a look, see what we've been doing. Quite a few different methods in action. Right, here I'm trying a uh, different method to try and clear the ground a bit and also get the benefit of a potato harvest. Um, the idea is to dig two trenches either side and then invert the sods so that the uh, grass thatch and the rest of it is uh, in, sandwiched in between and then to dip holes in the center of the ridge for potatoes we're gonna put some main crop in here oh robin gardener's friend and hopefully the uh, weeds should be okay uh, die off will be able to easily picked out and the advantage I suppose is when you're harvesting the potatoes you uh, clear out some of the gnarlier weed roots as well at the same time so we'll see if this works well the aim is to extend the row I actually tried here a bit of uh, cardboard cover and there's uh, six potatoes I think uh, Charlotte's in there but we'll put some uh, main crop in this row here try and extend that as far as we can Let's see if that works. Hello there. And this is the same new bed for a couple of weeks. Um, the first section I covered over after a big dig uh, with some cardboard, get that weighted down for a, about a month or so. And we've uh, managed to keep that clear. So there are six um, Charlotte potatoes in there. You just see them starting to poke through there. They've just about managed to survive the last frost. So they're motoring along and then in here we have a new system which I've managed to copy off uh, some other content on YouTube might be able to set a link up where officially I think it's the sort of the traditional Irish bed method of digging in trenches either side and flipping the uh, first cut over to make a raised bed. We've got um, the last of the second early Charlottes in there and then just about halfway where I've sort of, sort of widened it a little bit we've got some uh, Maris Piper main crop in and we've given that a good turning over quite deep troughs either side but uh, we'll be able to hill those up again I think by uh, taking another spades width from either side in the trench 
and get them uh, get them uh, earthed up when they show and start uh, breaking through. And we're going to get that extended with some more main crop potatoes down there to the other edge of the plot and then we'll get another section turned over here for another it seems to be the extent of uh, where the worst of the sort of leftover raspberries and uh, tussocks are this bed was probably the most manageable to get turned over in this method um, and hopefully we'll get uh, a crop of potatoes out of it and this is one way of maybe getting uh, the ground broken which I find a bit disheartening just getting it turned over and you know left for nothing else um, but potatoes it lets you get something into the ground and when you harvest it you can also get rid of some of the weeds as well if there's more perennial roots and things to get out of the way but it seems like a good system fingers crossed We've got the allotment completely to ourselves today, Saturday. It's only about is it after lunchtime, more or less. Absolutely deserted. I think Sunday is a bigger day for people on this allotment than a Saturday. Perhaps there's more stuff still to do on a Saturday. But lovely weather. All the blossoms started on the trees. Sorry about the. Uh, broken polytunnel still still can't seem to get the uh, tools down here to get it taken away um, but everything's getting uh, weeded as well and a little stink peek of my uh, new favourite tool can everybody guess what this is? I'll uh, be showing you some content on how uh, this murderous weapon uh, makes uh, short work of weeds planting and uh, clearing generally uh, in some content coming up answers below well thanks for watching today on the new plot uh, we've broken some good ground uh, if you've liked what you've seen today then uh, give us a thumbs up if you want to be notified of the next video then uh, press the subscribe and if you've got any comments or suggestions or if you think that uh, this new plot's uh, going to get overrun with more weeds and perennial problems. Uh, maybe make some points in the comments below. Otherwise, see you next time. Bye.